penalty this week hammers home is that Donald Trump has always been a fraud and he's always been a cheat. We had no choice but to start today, and we're thrilled to, with our in-house law firm, everybody's favorite legal eagles, Neil Katyal is the former acting U.S. Solicitor General, Andrew Weissman is the former general counsel at the FBI, and a senior member of special counsel Robert Mueller's team. So, Neil, I want to start there a little bit, because what struck me is that if you look at these cases, from the New York criminal case to Georgia to special counsel Jack Smith's dual case, they all have this one common thing, and one thing in common, fraud. And I was struck, of course, as I just played by a the AG's comments, which, again, could be applied anywhere. But if you're a prosecutor, how do you look at kind of this theme of grifting and fraud over the course of decades and in multiple cases? Yeah, so first I just wanted to make a comment about what Don Jr. said, equivocating these judgments to what happens in Russia. No, yeah. in Russia, they literally execute political opponents the Trumps can't even condemn that. And indeed, Trump is coming into court trying to seek absolute immunity so that he as president could, as he said, uh, allow the execution of his political opponents. Mm. And so to me, the theme, Jen, is not just fraud, which is a common theme throughout all of these different cases, but also this idea of impunity, that he is above yeah. the law. He goes into court. He's been saying this even before he became president in 2016. He committed various crimes. He said, well, you couldn't prosecute me because I'm now sitting president and in office. And then when he's impeached, says, you know, you have to prosecute me. You can't just impeach me. And then when he leaves his office as president, he says, well, you can't, pres you can't prosecute me because you didn't fully impeach me. I mean, the whole thing is just a house of cards at every turn. It's about saying, I, Donald Trump, am above the law. And that's why this decision, I think, was so important this week by Judge Egmeron, mm -hmm. because it attacks one of the things Trump is most proud of, his supposed business acumen. And so the judgment's not just a blow to his business and to his wallet, it's a blow to his ego, and it's a blow to his claim that he's above the law. And such a good point on Putin. Trump has an affinity for Putin. I, this has been on my mind, and I'm going to be talking about it later in the show.